Apple has recently unveiled long-awaited AR-slash-VR headset and a range of exciting products at WWDC. Interestingly, there is no single mention of the magic word AI. Does this mean Apple doesn't have any AI products? Is Apple not an AI company? In this video, I will talk about three amazing Apple products from AI perspective and how Apple is using AI in a subtle but powerful way to create the future of computing. Let's start with the star of the event, Vision Pro. Vision Pro is Apple's groundbreaking innovation that seamlessly blends digital content with your physical space. When you put on Vision Pro, you can see the world clearly through the headset but also interact with apps, games, movies, and more using your eyes, hands, and voice. And Apple calls it spatial computer. When a person approaches you, you can see each other. And this isn't because the Vision Pro lenses are transparent. It's because Vision Pro projects the people and images from the outer world to you. At the same time, it shows the image of your eyes in real time onto the external screen of the glasses. This creates an indistinguishable border between the virtual and real world. You can also immerse yourself in panoramic images, 3D videos, and various blockbuster movies. And when you do video call, you'll be represented by an incredibly lifelike avatar. This avatar is able to mimic your facial expressions and gestures, not like this one, but your face is masked by the headset. How does the Vision Pro manage to capture your facial expressions? Well, Vision Pro accomplishes this by initially scanning your face with its front-facing camera to create a unique 3D avatar. Then it uses many AI models such as convolutional neural networks, autoencoders to create your digital persona, but that's not all. Vision Pro is also Apple's first ever 3D camera. It enables you to capture spatial photos and videos in 3D then relive those cherished moments like never before with immersive spatial audio. Your existing library of photos and videos looks incredible at a remarkable scale, and panoramas wrap around you, transporting you back to the exact moment where you took them. What's driving this groundbreaking technology? The Apple M2 chip and the brand new R1 chip. The M2 chip uh, handles the general processing tasks, while the R1 chip takes on the spatial computing tasks, such as tracking your head movement, eye gaze, hand gestures, and voice commands. The R1 seamlessly processes input from an impressive array of 12 cameras, 5 sensors, and 6 microphones in real time. If its processing speed is not fast enough, for instance, when you turn your head to view a different part of your room and the image is delayed, then you will feel dizzy soon. But R1 chip effectively eliminates lag, streaming new images to the displays within an astonishing 12 milliseconds. This means the latency between what you see in Vision Pro and the actual real world is a mere 12 milliseconds, which is eight times quicker than the blink of an eye. As a result, Vision Pro offers a significantly more comfortable experience compared to many other AR headsets on the market. This is truly a game changer. Can you think of which other Apple future products could use the R1 chip and its image processing AI models? Yes, you are right, it's Apple Car. The key of autonomous car lies in real-time data gathering from multiple cameras and sensors, then swiftly processed by AI models to ensure safety. Should Apple venture into automotive territory, we can anticipate the integration of the R series chip into their designs. We will see. By now, you may have realized that Vision Pro is packed with AI technologies, but Apple didn't mention AI at all. They talked about spatial computing, machine learning, neural engine, but not AI. Why is that? Well, this is because Apple's perspective on AI differs from tech giants like Google or Microsoft. They tend to avoid the term AI, viewing it as overused and often misunderstood. They prefer to focus on user experience rather than tech buzzwords. They envisage AI technologies working seamlessly in the background, enriching your experience without requiring any extra effort on your part. That's the invisible AI power Apple employs in its products, especially in Vision Pro. If you're finding this video helpful so far, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe. While Vision Pro was the main focus at the event, a smaller but smart product may have slipped under your radar, the intelligent input. Let's explore this further. The intelligence of the iPhone keyboard has leaped forward, boasting automatic correction features and improved dictation capabilities. 
This is largely due to the implementation of a generative AI model, the transformer. The transformer runs every time you tap a key. Interestingly, this same model also forms the backbone of OpenAI's ChatGPT. So you'll find autocorrect is more accurate than before. It also goes beyond suggesting the next word. It now proposes entire sentences for you. But if you're worried that this might result in identical responses among all iPhone users, no worry. Autocorrect learns from your individual writing style, effectively personalizing your text. Isn't this your real-time AI writing assistant? The dictation function has also been enhanced with a transformer-based voice recognition model that leverages Apple's neural engine. This significantly improves its accuracy. It's quite remarkable how Apple integrates two AI models, the writing assistant and voice recognition, into something as seemingly simple as a keyboard. Isn't this amazing? Now, let's take a look at Apple's upcoming app, Journal. It is essentially an app that allows you to write down your journals and powered by an on-device AI. Are there moments that you need a little nudge to get your creativity flowing? Journal can assist you by providing personalized suggestions to inspire your writing. The suggestions are intelligently curated from a variety of sources available on your iPhone, such as your photos, location, music, workouts, and more. And you decide what to include when you enable suggestions and which moments to save to your journal. Some of journal's suggestions are tailored to you personally, while others are designed to stimulate your creativity across a range of themes. For instance, if you enjoyed your recent trip very much and wish to chronicle it in your journal, the app will pull information. And yes, with just a tap, they're in your journal. You can mark the journals and come back to them whenever you want. So journal will be a great way to preserve your sweet memories. Essentially, Journal is an AI tool that makes your writing more effectively by pulling information on your phone. Beyond creating innovative products, Apple also emphasizes privacy and security. Apple's CEO, Tim Cook, has shared his thoughts on AI. He believes that AI should enhance human intelligence, not replace it, and AI should only be used for purposes that benefit humanity. He concerns about bias, misinformation, and other potential risks can't be overlooked. Therefore, he thinks regulation and framework are needed. But as AI development is progressing at a rapid pace, regulatory measures may struggle to keep up with it, so companies will need to regulate themselves. In my humble opinion, such regulations and frameworks should be global, much like the regulatory provisions for atomic energy. These should govern how nations and companies develop and deploy AI. Another pressing question we face now is, will these measures be able to adapt quickly enough to ensure the safety of AI development? So far, I have only covered Apple's AI tools in this video. If you are interested in other AI tools from Google or OpenAI, please check out these two videos. Please also don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to help it reach broader audience. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.